Hi guys, Andy Wilson, the Sneakonomist here, and uh, we've had an interesting week on NFT auctions, and there's been plenty in the news about cryptocurrencies as well. Um, so whilst I'm not an, an expert on either of them, I wanted to just give you some of my thoughts, give you some of the details about that NFT auction, but also discuss a little bit about cryptocurrencies and how it kind of differs in the, the methodology and the mentality that I use when it comes to trying to value businesses. So this week we saw Christie's uh, auctioned off nine crypto punk characters. Uh, they were expected to raise in the region of between seven and nine million US dollars, and they ended up going for 17 or just under 17 million dollars. If you've not seen these crypto punk characters, go and check them out. They're like a little 8-bit uh, character heads, uh, various different types of characters. Each one of them is individual, um, and this was a, a, a block of nine of these being auctioned off. Now, Ethereum is the currency that is used to purchase NFTs, but also Dogecoin and Bitcoin have been very, very much in the news and headlines this week. So on the subject of that, it started with Elon Musk uh, appearing on Saturday Night Live, which is basically a comedy show. Um, he, we had seen people, investors, if you like, buy Dogecoin ahead of this, expecting him to really come out bullish on Dogecoin and push up the value even further. It started with Elon's mum saying that she was hoping she wasn't gonna get Dogecoin as a Mother's Day present. Uh, and then he, it, it culminated in him describing, him being Elon, describing Dogecoin as a hustle. Um, for the investors that had bought and push the price of Dogecoin up in the run-up to the Saturday Night Live um, sketch. Uh, they were disappointed, and shares, uh, the, or the, sorry, the value of the Dogecoin fell. There was also issues with the likes of Robinhood, these free trading platforms for people to be able to transact and actually sell at market. Um, it was pretty much imagine a website where everyone's trying to go on and purchase a pair of hype sneakers or some hype clothing and the websites can't cope with the uh, influx of people trying to transact. On to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin um, fell this week after Tesla came out and said they were no longer going to accept Bitcoin uh, as a currency to be able to purchase their cars. Uh, a couple of months ago, Elon Musk uh, announced that they, he, he and, and also Tesla had bought a large amount of Bitcoin and they were going to be accepting it as a currency. So what made them change their mind? Well, Elon Musk has got a lot of different things going on, whether it's making flamethrowers, sending rockets up to the moon, uh, and obviously he's probably most famous for Tesla. Now, if you look at Tesla as a standalone business, it's kind of looking along the eco-friendly side of things. It's electric vehicles or EVs. He's kind of set his stall out there. Um, I can only imagine that there was some investor pressure coming from the fact that BT, uh, BTC or Bitcoin is so damaging to the environment to actually mine it. The energy used, and it's mostly in China because it's subsidized by the government, the energy used to mine Bitcoin in China is about the equivalent of half the energy used in the UK every day. And how do you create this electricity? Well, you burn fossil fuels uh, in coal fire powered power stations to generate the electricity. It's very, very dirty to mine Bitcoin. Tesla said they're gonna keep their Bitcoin position. They're also considering other cryptos uh, that are more eco-friendly as potentially ways to purchase their cars in the future. Um, and then fast forward another day, cue a tweet from Elon, where he said he is working with the developers of Dogecoin to improve the system uh, transaction efficiency and said it's potentially promising. Now, those of you that uh, keep your finger on the pulse in crypto world know that the Dogecoin was created as a bit of a joke. It was a kind of a, a, a joke currency uh, that doesn't have any official use, but it didn't stop it from getting hyped up. Could this change? Could Dogecoin become an actual credible token or currency? Well, with Elon Musk, he's living, he's almost living every kid's dream. So I wouldn't put it past him. If someone's able to do that, 
I, w I would say that Elon Musk is probably one of the people that would. Um, these types of currencies are kind of programmable, so it's almost like you can, you can tweak and change them. So who knows what might happen in the future to Dogecoin, but as things stand at the moment, things are very, these things are very, very volatile and they should be treated with a huge amount of caution. So just some thoughts here. Um, so the valuation, valuing a currency, valuing these cryptocurrencies. Um, the, the, one of the things I can't get my head around is because when I look at valuing a business, let's say I'm valuing Nike or Adidas, uh, I can look at how well the business is doing, how well they're functioning in the background, what sort of shoes they're bringing through, is it popular? How much is it costing them to make the shoes and get the shoes to market? And are they selling in the right sorts of numbers? These are all things that you can kind of take a calculated uh, punt at, if you like, because it is still a gamble. Bitcoin, as we've seen, and Dogecoin, as we've seen, are almost, um, how, should, how should I say, they're, they're driven by meme accounts. They're driven by rich and famous people like Elon Musk, like Paris Hilton, who are early investors in crypto, etc. These are people that can afford to put money into it and will go on social media and give them a push. Um, and look, they've if you've invested early on in these, you're sitting on nice paper profits, uh, etc. So there is definitely a difference in the way I would value businesses and the way I would look at uh, the value of one of these cryptos. NFTs, just quickly on that. Is this a fad that people are, uh, are, are sort of going through that are pushing at the moment or is it gonna be the next big thing? Um, a couple of things I would say. There's nothing to stop us from maybe having canvas prints on our walls to changing those to super thin um, TV or monitor screens uh, and having three dimensional and sort of moving live art on that. That's really cool. And I can quite conceivably see that happening. What I want to know though is because you pay for NFTs with Ethereum, are people using paper profits that they've made in Ethereum and said, okay, well, I'm just gonna allocate 10% of my paper profit and go and buy those NFTs? Or is there more legs to it? Um, or will we actually see people going and buying Ethereum to pay for an NFT? They didn't own the Ethereum already um, and they want to actually own those, those NFTs. I get that if you own the NFT, you own the rights to it and also you get a slice every time it's sold on in the future if you're the artist, etc. So that uh, is attractive, but I need to see if this is going to be a bit of a fad. Safety wise, what's to stop an exchange? I'm back on cryptos now. What's to stop an exchange position getting hacked? We've heard about Darkside um, and the, they're the people that hacked into Toshiba in Europe this week. They've also hacked into the Colonial Pipeline in the United States. Uh, and apparently they've been involved in hacking the Irish National Health Service um, uh, systems as well. Uh, and I heard in the last sort of couple of hours that they may have seen a counterattack possibly coming from um, a government and that some of their crypto, all of their crypto wallets had been, um, had been wiped out. So for me, that would always be a worry about how safe my stuff is. If I'm invested in one of these exchanges, if someone was to take all those coins, would I be, would I be covered? At the moment, um, cryptocurrency is a very crowded space with not enough um, not enough bandwidth for people to be able to invest in it. You've got some big pension companies etc and hedge funds that want exposure to cryptocurrencies but there isn't the, the, the breadth to be able to put the money in they want to. Just like Tesla and their valuation is skyrocketed because they are one of the main pure play electric vehicle companies that are existing producing cars now and are investable in. The rest of a lot of the other stuff is all quite sort of um, if, buts and maybes going forward. Um, Ether for me is probably the most credible. Uh, their blockchain um, serves infrastructure for other systems. So there's actually an underlying use to this. Um, so I can see that any pullback in some of these other currencies, you probably won't see the same in Ethereum. Um, and as I say, I think you need to invest with these with caution. You need to invest in them like almost like a, a, you would going to a casino. They're driven by memes. They're driven by rich individuals and chat rooms. And I think as long as you're plugged in around those, you can hopefully react in time to be able to make money. If you do invest carefully, um, thank you for your time. I hope this hasn't been too dumb for those people that know all about it. And hopefully it might have been 
uh, just allowed me to share some of my views and uh, share them with you. So if you've got any questions, please give me a shout or comment in the DMs. I'll see you soon.